This morning, it would have been impossible for anyone to convince me that I would ever see Tokyo like this again. Martin, you are Mr. Steve Martin? Yes. I'm Shigeo Yoto, assistant to Dr. Serizawa. Oh, how do you do? And how is Serizawa? His health is fine, but he regrets not being here to meet you. Something wrong? Dr. Serizawa had to go inland on some field experiments. He wanted to delay them until after your visit, but they were much too important. He hopes that you'll understand. Of course. Oh, when's he planning to return? Perhaps before he departs to Cairo. In the meanwhile, if there's anything I can do, please feel free to call me. I certainly will. There are still forces left in this world that none of us can understand. Oh, excuse me. Dr. Yamani. Steve Martins, it is good to see you. You take this monster talk seriously? Who can tell? I understand you're heading the research group to Odo Island. Yes, we leave this afternoon. With your permission, I'd like to come along. I've been cleared by the security office. Of course. Clear J at 2 o'clock. Good. See you then. of those footprints. Hello. Can you hear me okay, George? Coming in clear. Now let's have it, Steve. What about this monster story of yours? Well, it's big and terrible. It's more frightening than I ever thought possible. By the end of the day, it was generally assumed that the underwater demolition had ended the short but terrible reign of Godzilla. <laughs> Recording is for George Lawrence, United World News, Chicago, USA. George, here in Tokyo, time has been turned back two million years. This is my report as it happens. A prehistoric monster the Japanese call Godzilla has just walked out of Tokyo Bay. He's as tall as a 30-story building. seems Tokyo has no defense. tank cord, a point-blank firing ring. Saying a prayer, George. Prayer for the whole world. <laughs> 